Over a period of time, air conditioning systems find leaks. To trace those leaks, we've used OFN in the past, we've used dyes in the past. We've now got a new uh, product that's on the market, lock trace. Okay, what I'll do, I'll run through and build a lock trace system for you and attach it to the vehicle. The system comes with a bottle of lock trace. That's a set of gauges which attach to the bottle. To enable us to connect to the vehicle, we have a connection hose which screws directly onto the set of gauges. Onto the end of the hose goes the low side charge port adapter. There it is. Which enables us to charge straight through the low side charge port of the vehicle. The vehicle will not have any refrigerant in it, so we'll be able to then pressurise the system. From now we'll look at the health and safety side, so we use glo gloves and goggles. We find the low side charge port which is located down at the rear of the uh, bulkhead here and connect the low side charge port directly to it. From there we open our bottle so we pressurise our bottle system. So we can see the pressure in our bottle. We'll then wind in maximum of 10 bar of pressure into the system. From there, we then can use our sniffer, which has an audible signal on it, and also lights on it to tell us where the leak is. But then we can trace around the vehicle, very carefully taking it around the area that we think we have the leak. As you can hear from there, we have found the leak on a high side pipe going from the compressor to the condenser. Then from there we found the leak, so we now need to fix the leak. But what we'll do is close our bottle down so we do not vent any more away. We'll disconnect from the vehicle. then vent the excess trace leak that we have in the gauges, reconnect the hose back onto our vehicle and then vent the trace leak by putting it on the base of the floor, holding a foot on it and venting the trace leak into atmosphere. Carry on, repair the leak, pipe work that we found and then repressurise the system.